Welcome back, my hypersexual beings. If you want to learn how to make this beautiful spanking bench with me, then come hang out and follow along. I've broken this down into several different parts for these videos because there is so much stuff going on with this build. So the first video is going to be how to do the hourglass structure on the side. And that is the hardest part. You don't want to mess it up. So please watch that video completely. I know it's going to be a long one, but you have to do it right. Because if you don't, it'll mess up the entire build. The next video is going to be about how to do the top and the side pieces and the inner frame. The next video after that is how to stain it and use the polyurethane on it so that you can seal the wood and make sure that the paint job turns out good. And then the next video after that is going to be how to do the upholstery for the top and the sides. So a lot of different things going on. But first, let's get into all the supplies that you're going to need. You will need for the side piece and the frame, like the whole entire frame, you're gonna need four pieces of this wood. It's one by one, um, eight foot long boards that you're gonna need for the sides. You will also need three fourths inch, three fourths of an inch thick plywood. And you can get pre-cut plywood that's two by, two by four feet pieces so that you don't have to have them like cut you like a really big piece. And then you're going to need, where did it go? I just, just, oh, there it is. Okay, you're gonna need a dowel. This is a half inch dowel, and I used it to make the coverings where I did the pieces where I drilled at, and you will see that in the video. I'm not gonna get into all that right now. Okay, I used a total of 26 one inch screws on this. You'll need a lot of screws. And I did use wood glue. If you are doing this project and you don't plan on using wood glue and stuff like that, you don't have to use it because some people might actually do this with bolts instead of using screws screwing it together. My piece is not made to be taken apart. So if you want to take yours apart, take that into consideration when you're making your own. Don't ask me any questions about that kind of stuff though. That's all on you. This is how I did mine. Follow along with my video if you want to do it my way. <laughs> okay. Next thing, let's go over tools. You will need a miter saw. Thank you, Jason, by the way, for donating this to me. He was like, you make really cool stuff, but your tools are shit. So here's this, so thank you. You're the best. <laughs> so you'll need a miter saw. You're going to need a drill. Now, I did use my oscillator for sanding, but I also used it for the chiseling process. And you will need a circular saw and a wood chisel for the chiseling. Now I show both methods on how to do the chiseling with like a regular hand chisel with a circular saw and with the oscillator, which you will see in the video. So just make sure you have all the pieces. Other things that you're going to need, obviously something to draw with, something to measure with. If you're using putty and stuff, you will need this. Um, same thing, need something to draw with. You will need a rubber mallet because you want these joints to be really, really solid and tight. So you might have to like mallet some stuff into place. A level and you will need probably four of these wood clamps. Let me make sure I got to everything. I have a note board down here. Um, a circular saw. You could use a table saw when you're cutting the top pieces. And yes, I said measuring tape and all of that. Now, when it does come down to the bottom, I put something a little fancy on here. <clears throat> For the non-slip part, I just used an old yoga mat and cut it up and use my staple gun to put it to the bottom so that, you know, it doesn't slide. When things start rocking, okay? So, I think that is all the main points and everything that you're gonna need to do this build. So, let's go ahead and get started.